New this morning here, Ped West back open right now at the San Ysidro Port of Entry. This has been closed for nearly three years. Yeah, and this could really help with those hours long wait times out there. CBS 8's Dana Marie McNichol live in San Ysidro now with these details. Good morning. Good morning. That's right. Ped West is behind me. I've been keeping an eye on to see if there's anyone crossing just yet. But of course, at 601, it just opened a minute ago. We should start to see some people crossing through here. Now, as you mentioned, it's been a couple of years since it's been opened. April of 2020 was the last time it actually operated 24 hours a day. But now it's operating at limited hours, 6 a.m. until 2 p.m. Uh, that is in what we know for right Right now uh, that could change in the near future. Now, in terms of businesses around here, we spoke to one owner of Carolyn Shoe Business. Um, she says that she opened her current location in December of 19, just before the pandemic. And she said it's been hard with this head crossing closed because the foot traffic really does make a difference. Take a listen. It's going to help a lot, to be honest. It's taking too long to cross the border, take three to four hours sometimes to cross the border. And if you want to come to CHOP for one or two things, it's not worth it, to be honest. So that was Olivia Campos. She's confident this reopening, even with limited hours, will be better for her bottom line, as well as other business makers along the border that have managed to survive through the pandemic. She thinks slowly there is going to be a recovery for businesses, including the Las Americas outlets, which is located just right on the other side of the crossing. Now, in a statement, Customs and Border Protection said, quote, in an effort to provide additional crossing flexibility and service to our bi-national communities, we are working to restore for our services to pre pandemic status. And I do want to remind you pre pandemic, this was open 24 hours a day, not the limited hours. So we could see some changes there. Keep in mind, you can check out current border wait times both online and through a smartphone app. Of course, we're going to be bringing you live to see how many people are coming through this already. Again, it just opened three minutes ago at 6 a.m. here in San Ysidro. So stick with us. We'll bring you the latest. I'm Dana Marie McNagle coming to you live.